Hi everyone, welcome back. So this video is about the Python Essentials course provided by Cisco Networking Academy. Now, if you are really interested in coding and feel excited to write your own computer programs, then Python is a great first programming language to learn. The good news is Python is easy to learn. It's quicker to learn than many other programming languages. So you will be able to start writing your code faster. Plus, it's easy to access as Python is free, open, and also supports multi-platforms. If you're wondering why am I bothered about pro Python programming, please do remember that good programming skills are essential nowadays as they open up careers in almost any industry and are required if you want to target higher paying job roles in various domains, be it cybersecurity, machine learning, networking, anything that you can think of. Python is user-friendly with easy-to-read code, and it is used by startup companies as well as tech giants like Google, Facebook, Netflix, uh, Amazon, etc. This particular course provided by Cisco Networking Academy used to be called as Python Essentials. But now, in the recent up, uh, update, they have divided this course into two parts, a 30 hours Python Essentials 1 and a 40 hours Python Essentials 2 course. Um, there are many avenues where you can learn uh, Python and Python course for free. Similarly, Cisco NetAcad also offers free learning for these two courses. The reason why I say this is a good place to learn Python is because this is a uh, this course has been designed in such a way that there is no prior programming language uh, or knowledge is required for you. You even though you don't know anything, even though you are in your first year or you are just uh, starting your coding. Uh, uh, learning, this course is going to help you to smoothly transition into something where you can learn by uh, completing the course across the two modules. This course is, allow, is going to allow you to start thinking algorithmically. The way, the way I say algorithmically is simply because once you see a problem, you have to analyze a particular problem and then translate it for a computer and try to solve it. So the computer has to understand the problem the way how you code. So this course is going to help you do that. The Python course was developed in collaboration with Open EDG Python Institute and Cisco. So let me show you how you can access the course. What are the different modules in Python Essentials 1 and the modules in Python Essentials 2? The different exams that you need to take and what are the different certifications that are in line with these two courses? So let me show you the particular platform and let me browse to the features of this particular course. So this is how your dashboard looks like once you log in into Networking Academy. You simply go to netacad.com, give your credentials and once you open the portal, all the courses that you have enrolled will be shown here. Now I did both for Python Essentials 1 and for Python Essentials 2. As I tried the self-paced version, this Python Essentials PE1 and PE2 courses are available as self-paced as well as instructor-led. It is up to the instructor the way how they are going to offer this course. Okay, so let me start with the first course PE1. What are the contents? So just click on that particular button where you can start opening this particular course. You see here on your left hand side, you see all the modules with relevant contents of that particular module. So PE1. And you can see module 2, module 3, module 4. Uh, there are four modules in PE1. The first module, in the first few steps, you will be able to understand what is what are the particular uh, contents that are covered in this particular course. Here, you just need to scroll down. Earlier, it used to be, we used to click next and we used to uh, uh, browse from one page to another page. But this new platform is quite good and it is quite easy for us to browse through the contents and learn it. You can see that this course is the first in a two course Python essential series. As I told you, it is now divided into two parts. And you can see this is about the course. What do you get out of this? And what is the syllabus? What do you do? And here is the most important one. This course is actually divided into four modules. Module one, where you get a knowledge about introduction to Python and computer programming. Module two, where you get to understand about the data types, variables, basic input output operations, basic operators. Module three, which deals with Boolean values, conditional execution, loops, lists and list processing, logical and bitwise operations. 
finally the module 4 which is going to give you knowledge about functions tuples dictionaries exceptions and data processing and if uh, as your student it is up to you whether you want to go for the global certification it's just for the college sake you just need to complete the certificate that's enough uh, and if you're really interested in taking a global certification and then this particular uh, part for the pcep exam is for you so let us go into the section one you can see also there is a small percentage button over here it shows to you that how much of this particular course that you have learned or how much what is the extent that you have completed in this particular module so each module has got its own percentage marker which reaches 100 that means you have completed it uh, completely you have done it completely all the modules and all the contents have been covered you can see it's all done here you can directly go and there is one something for each and every module there is a completion test you can directly click there you can go down this is a uh, module test you have to complete it as well you can see what's the machine code there are some questions and go to module 2 you can see this is what are the contents that we just discussed in module 2 is written over here and this is your first program the good thing about this particular course is that uh, this is the editor window whatever you learn you can directly type it here you can check it out here and then if you click the play button here it automatically gets executed and displays you the output if you don't want it to go there is another one more button here you can click it you will go it will take you to the fresh editor where you can type it from scratch you can you need to click the close button over here if you can see okay to come back and if you want it these two toggle buttons are used for your night mode or dark mode based on your own interest you can click this it goes into the complete dark mode and if you click this it goes into the uh, normal white color now each and every uh, content that you study here has got its own little editors which will enable you to practice what you are learning that is one very good thing about this particular course okay because there is a simple lab programs also and if you want to understand what is being done over here what kind of lab if you don't understand you can simply go and click on the sample solution it will give you these particular statements so here it is asking you to uh, experiment with the print statement so what are the different ways uh, in which we can use print statement when we when does it uh, provide or give errors all those kind of things it has asked here and if you don't know what to do it also gives you the sample solution if you come down and here there are different labs whatever lab is mentioned this means it is going to ask you to do something you need to execute it you can see if you want you can click on sample solution you can write you can do a lot of things so i my suggestion for all of you is take the lab exercises seriously practice them because whatever you learn about in the theory you can directly implement them and if you have any doubts you can always see the sample solution and there is a section summary for each and every section to just provide a very brief summary of what you have learned in this particular course what uh, kind of uh, functions that you have learned what are the important points in this particular course and then you have also a simple section quiz see what is the output of the program if you don't know the answer you can frame your own answer and then check it whether your answer is right or wrong you can always check these things okay so in this way the all the modules have got their own content which has been clearly uh, or, or neatly organized for a student to learn properly if you want to if you want to study this in a large in a larger area you simply click on here and you can see that you can click on this it will come into a large area okay and if you click this again you can see the menu there is also something called as resources over here in these resources there are currently nothing available if we place anything you can see in this resources tab also now once you complete all the modules you can see module 3 module 4 everything once you complete all these modules okay you the last thing you can come here is the python essentials 1 pe 1 course final exam this is mandatory for you to uh, complete all the module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 quizzes has to be done and then you have to complete the final test and end of course survey there is uh, there is another one called as final project here so if you simply click on final project you can go there try to read what is here it is asking you to create a program on tic tac toe as i said take it up as a challenge see what you can do the sample code is also given here but if i were you i want you to uh, do it from your own uh, perspective 
and then you come across the final test. You can take the final test. There are different questions here. And then you have to provide the end of course survey. If you are learning this particular course in the uh, self-study mode, then automatically once you complete all these exercises, the certificate will be generated. If you are doing it in as an instructor-led course, these exams are actually opened by your instructor. There will be a schedule given on which date, see module 1 exam is has to be completed on a particular date. Module 2 exam has to be completed on a particular date. And finally, once you complete all these things, the instructor will be able to generate the certificates for you. He will be able to, or he or she will be able to verify in the background whether you did everything or not. And then the certificate will be generated. So this is about your Python Essentials 1 course. And if you want to go back, you simply click the close button over here. You can see there is a close button. You simply click on that and it will be redirected back to your dashboard. These are all the courses that whatever has been added by the instructor as well as the courses that you selected under self-study mode. You can browse through the catalog. I know I told you earlier in my videos, just go through the explore. You can, you can browse many courses. And if you are interested to learn these courses, you can, if they are being offered in self-study mode, you can simply click on them and they will be added to your uh, particular dashboard or to your learning uh, portal. So let me show you this and let us open the Python Essentials 2 course. Now, if it is instructor led, if it is offered by your instructor, you can also see a timelines over here. That means when is the course going to start and when does the course end? All those things are also shown over here for you. Uh, if you go into Python Essentials 2, okay. Once again, it opens all the modules. How many modules are there? You can see. So, welcome to Python Essentials. Let us check the syllabus. This course is also divided into four modules, just like PE1. So module one is going to tell you about modules, packages and pip. And module two tells you strings, st string and list methods and exceptions. Module three, object oriented programming. And module four is going to deal with miscellaneous topics. And once again, it is practically the same thing. If each and every module has got a module completion test attached to it. And in the for, for the four modules, you have all the module uh, tests. And once you complete all the four modules, you have the final exam for Python Essentials 2 PE2 course final exam. Okay. So this is how, this is how the course looks like when you enroll into the course. You can see each and everything, all the contents that you have just mentioned are written over here. You can simply quickly jump to any particular section here. You need not uh, scroll through each and every part. You can go through this. And as I told you, if you want to study it on a large screen, it will be easy for you. Then you can go through like this also. And the same, the same uh, layout is panned out for all both the courses. Whatever you study, there is the editor that is available, readily available for you. You can click on the editor. You can work on the editor. You can make changes in the code also. You can see how the code runs and whether it is good or not or whether it is done without any errors or not. Okay. So let me close this and let me show you how it looks like if you haven't at enrolled into the course you can see if i click on the python essentials course because i already done it it is showing me resume course if you haven't done it and if you are interested if you are not from uh, my student if you are from outside you can directly go to this particular link i will share this link in the description section and you can see about all the details you can see it is free self-paced 30 hours it is a beginner and you have 30 labs and the achievements you get is you can see there is a course badge attached to it python essentials one once you complete the course, this badge, you can directly post it on LinkedIn. And there are different, there is you can, all the modules, the contents that these modules cover are written over here. These are the resources. If you want to understand uh, more about these particular modules, if you want to just have go through these things to decide whether to take this course or not, they provide two PDFs, which is Python Essentials 1 overview and which is scope and sequence, where you can use this course. What skills do you get from these courses? Okay, and similarly, you can actually do the same thing for your uh, Python Essentials 2 course also. If you click here, view all, it will show you all the courses that are available under programming. These are courses, these are articles. Here, you can click on view all for the courses. It will show you all the programming courses that are available. Usually, I offer uh, Python 1, Python 2, C1 and C2 for my students. 
there are new courses that are added as part of this particular uh, NetACAD. C++ uh, 1, 2 and C++ advanced C++ is also there here. JavaScript 1, JavaScript Essentials 2. These are, these are the two courses that have been added uh, as new courses in Cisco NetACAD. So all these comes under the uh, programming part. And if you're really interested in other uh, particular domains also like cybersecurity, networking, you can see there are many courses that come under uh, uh, networking, uh, AI and data science, information technology. So this is how you have to complete these courses and just come out. You just go back to my, my classes. You click on my classes. Sorry, my learning. My classes is from my side. You can see your dashboard again. And whatever uh, you have earned in your particular uh, uh, portal, you can see all the list over here also. So these these are the th these are the three courses that I added for myself to learn. And if if it is for you, you might see the courses that are added from me or from your instructor or those courses which you added for yourself. So with this, uh, hopefully, I think I have cleared the doubts regarding the uh, Python Essentials one and two courses. What are the modules? How to uh, browse through these particular uh, modules. So, good luck.